Yes, Simmers, how we doing? Welcome back. Uh, today, we've been messing around with the triple screen. Uh, so this is how I've got it to work so far. It's very, it's very fiddly. I found it to be a bit of a pain, so I thought I'd share the method with you, and if this helps, then happy day, I'll show you my settings. Right, so first things first, I'm used to using my triple screen with, with my Euro Truck Sim, uh, where we, we use something in the NVIDIA control panel called Physics with flight sim we don't have the surround sound on so it's normally on 5760 by 1080 is the resolution i use in truck sim uh, which then gives me the full screen resolution however in flight sim just keep your screens on 1920 by 1080 uh, so you're gonna have one screen set up for the start so it's, for instance this is my main screen i'm gonna have one screen set up at the start and then this is what we do we're gonna go into the settings and we're going to go to the advanced options. And what you want to do down here in the multi-window setting, you're going to add a new render window. So I've got two added. So I added them to either side of my, my main screen. So let's go down. Let's go down. Have a look at my settings here. Um, I don't know why they've gone to 3840 by 2160. This should be 1920 by 1080. Let's go back to that then. 1920, 1920. They just seem to have changed themselves. Oh, yeah, I should do. 1920 by 1080 so okay the both screens have gone back to 1920 by 1080 anyway it's this literal rotation offset you have to have a play with so you can see my runway it it's as best as i can get it my screens are at 45 degrees so if you've got the same kind of triple screen setup as me this will possibly these settings will possibly work for you well like they do for me i can't seem to fine tune it any better but this is it's good enough right now so on the lateral rotation offset, I've got one of my screens set to uh, set to 94. And then my window two is set to minus 90, both on 1920 by 1080. If they're windowed mode, then or you, you simply just alt and enter or come into this little setting here. Uh, maybe you can't see this as well. Let me let me go into. Yeah, I don't know why I was. I don't know why I was carried out. You can't you can't bloody see it. Stand by. Let me get the uh, correct screen. Do do do. Okay, let's move this to the top. Oh, let's just drag it up there. Do, do, do. Right, let me move this out of the way. Sorry, guys. So this is what I was saying. So you need to go into the advanced options. And then there's a multi-window option. So with this game, I'm not using a 5760 by 1080 uh, resolution. I've tried that with the NVIDIA configure physics surround all set up. And there's, these side screens are so stretched. It looks pants. So what the, the correct method right now that I found that I've uh, that I'm using is you go down to the multi window in the advanced options. I've got two screens to the so these are the add on screens to my main screen. One to the left, one to the right, and these are the settings I was on about. So the 1920 by 1080. So I've kept the decent graphics on both screens. Uh, they're not stretched or anything like that. And then we've got. Let's have a look. So we've got the lateral rotation offset 94 in the one screen and minus 90 in the other. Okay, this is what works for me. Let's go save and go back. This is what works for me. All right, so if I go in game, let me get rid of this screen. Display capture. Okay, how good my screens look through the camera, that's, that's the camera. But yeah, let me uh, go out. So right. Obviously, wherever I move. Might have to turn my settings down and touch because we are rendering the three screens now. However, it's, um, yeah, it's the best I can get it with my settings so far. I've been messing around with that lateral one to get, to get the settings how you want them. It's a lot of messing, but like I said, if you've got yours, if you've got triple screen and you're using a 45 degree angle like me, then them two settings, lateral settings, should work well for you. Anyhow, we're going to take off. Let's go and have a look how it looks. So let's go like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Very sensitive. Okay. Full throttle. But at least it's... The, the, with the 920 resolutions, without it being stretched, the decent graphics I see out the main window, I see the same out the left, left and the right. 60 knots. Let's get up.
pretty awesome. So we're coming up at Liverpool Airport. Pay where airport scenery down there. Then you see how, how well you can see it. And enjoying flying this little uh, little Cessna. It's a C400 Cavalis Cessna. Very simple to fly. Been doing a lot of VFR tours in it. Little look on the outside. So obviously it's um, it's not very it, it, the performance is still decent, but I can tell I'm rendering three screens. I might have to put my graphics down a touch because I've got ultra settings on right now. But the resolutions on the side screens are perfect. Looks just as clear as it does on the main screen. So we'll circle around, we'll take a landing, and I'll jump in the 737. Show you what it looks like in the 737. I haven't been in the 737 yet. Obviously, them settings are just what I've set up through some testing. Uh, you might get yours looking even better if you keep tweaking it and messing with it. Let's have a little look out the left window as well. Well, I, I could quite happily fly like this with these settings. This is uh, looking nice, looking really nice. I'm debating whether to even go back to the uh, desk setting now. Let's go sell. Let's slow it down. All right, Bob. All right, swing it. Hopefully, the ca the camera does capture the scenery. It does look really nice. The airport down there. So this is a racing trucking rig. But I've uh, I've already ordered it in the process of ordering a new new joystick, new throttle. Start converting a bit to flight sim as well, you know. Best of both. Right, we're gonna install it. Pulling away just over there on the right. But this is really nice for triple screen. Really nice. Coming around. Pulling away dead ahead. Okay, so let's uh, switch over to the 737. I haven't seen what the cockpit looks like in the 737 with this triple screen yet. I set up my screens with this aircraft. But nevertheless, let's go out. Go and fly. Let's just change the aircraft. 737. Okay. Save them back. Might as well stay at Liverpool. Um, bomb. I go, 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 go. Pop up. Start flight. Obviously, I'm not going to spend the time setting up the bloody FMC. I'm just, just showing you the views. I will have a little takeoff. Okay. Liverpool Tower, Boeing November to Sierra Alpha 738 at runway. Okay, to my eye, that looks that looks awesome. It looks lovely and straight all the way across. However, I'm not too sure how it's capturing on the camera. Um, but for the sake of the video, I suppose we could just go. 
so you can see the best of both. Uh, can we go up? Back. Lovely. And you see, it's pretty much. Yeah, I've got I've got this, the screen settings pretty much how 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 they should be. There's there's a tiny bit of plate messing there we can do. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. I've got the same as I like them. I can definitely tell you you're rendering three screens now, though. Right, let's take off. Definitely not going to be able to just quickly turn it around and, and land this, but uh, yeah, it's all about the views. We're looking at the views. Liverpool City down here, Anfield straight, the stadium straight ahead. Right, so just a bit of a recap. So if you if if you previously use triple screen, you're probably on a 570 by 1080 resolution. Scrap that with this. Put your main screen on 1920 by 1080. Go to your settings. Go to the advanced options. Multi window and add a new window. Change mess with your lateral and your your vertical setting. However, I've told you what mine are on. One of my screens is on 94 and the other one is on minus 90. 1920 by 1080 on both and that is what works well for me anyhow i hope that helps if it does drop the like let me know, know down below if it helped or if you've got any better setting than me that works with these 45 degree screens let me know and i'll check them out take care see you on the next one peace out everybody turn off for now peace peace